This video will demonstrate how to set up categories or groups for your students and their parents to follow. To do so, you want to go to your teacher account at admin.schoolinfoapp.com and log in and then select news. If you don't already have categories set up, you will not get this box. You will get a blank screen with a plus sign and before you can even send out a push notification, you have to set up some categories. And to set up categories, you go to Newsfeed Categories. Here you can see I already have some set up. So your page will be blank and you can just have a plus sign. So to add some, press the plus sign, put in a category name, whatever you'd like it to be, and then you would select Save. If you ever need to edit one that's already in there, you would just click on the edit button. That same box will pop up that already filled out. Change it and then press save. If you ever need to delete, you can press the X. Now that you have some newsfeed categories in, you would just go either press the back button or my news and that will bring you back to the news page. And this time you will get a pop up of the push notification box prompting you to send one out. And so to do so, you just give the push notification a title, and then you would put some information in the body. Once you have information in the body, you can format it to different styles and colors. You also have the ability to attach a file. You can attach a Word document, a PDF, or an Excel sheet. We recommend PDFs. They download a lot faster to the phones and look a lot better. So all you would have to do is choose File, select the file that you wanted to put in, and then press Save or Open. Um, if you would like to schedule your push notification to go out at a later time, you would just select Schedule for Later. A blank box will come up. Click on it. Choose the date that you want it to go out and the time. You don't have to go up and down arrows, you just click on the numbers and then click outside of that box for it to go away. But I want mine to go out immediately, so I will uncheck that box. And here, the send push notification box will always be clicked. You have the ability to send your item just as a news item, and the people who ha are following you will not get a push notification, it will just show on their phone in the app. Most of the time you will want to send it out as a push notification, if not all the time. So you would always leave that box checked. Now that you have everything else filled out, you need to decide who is going to be getting this push notification or which groups you're sending it to. So if it's just one group, you only have to select the one. If it's multiple, you can select as many as you'd like. For these purposes, I'll just select that one. And then once everything's ready, you just press save. And now it's sending out a push notification and you can see that it was sent out. Um, you need to make sure your students know to follow you. And to do so, they just need to go into the app, go to contacts, and go to your page where your name is listed. And then all of your categories or groups that you just set up will show up. And they just need to turn on the push notifications for that one class that they're in with you. And that is how you send out push notifications and set up the categories for your push notifications.